I'm sorry, did you get the look that he looked at the camera? And that just burned my soul. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to a new show called Young Royals. Um, so I saw this pop up on Netflix, like the trailer on the next Netflix YouTube a few weeks ago. I've kind of read about it and got really excited about it um, because you know it's like LGBT and it's got royals in it and it's, it's got a few things that like I personally enjoy in a TV show. Um, but the one thing that initially was holding me back was that it's in Swedish. Um, so I'm hoping that when I play it on Netflix it gets dubbed because I can't deal with subtitles. I'm sorry. The reasons that I haven't reacted to some other shows that I probably could have is because of the subtitles. So I'm hoping it's dubbed. But anyway, I've seen a couple of people ask me to react to it. I always thought I could, but I wasn't sure. And today I'm just biting the bullet. Once again, with every new show that I do, if you are interested in me continuing, it's only six episodes, but if you are interested, make sure you make the video blow up and show me that you're excited and you want me to continue. So, without further ado, let's go. Whoa. How did you get that? Hat? How old, is he, how old is he meant to be? Uh, so he's a prince, he got in trouble. The queen says she wants you to address it personally. For this reason, my parents and I have decided that I will enroll at Hilliska boarding school immediately. You have to demonstrate some kind of understanding. What kind of understanding? Wow, they full covered his face up, hey. Hilliska will help you adopt the right routines and keep the right company. You know what's refreshing? Like, this is a teen drama, but he literally looks like a 13 year old. Like, usually we're so used to watching TV shows that have pretty boys, pretty faces, not like clear skin. They're ripped and beautiful and all this stuff. And it's so nice to see him authentic, like an authentic teenager. Like, it's, it's kind of nice. Don't they all seem very like rigid and like uncomfortable? Please dig in whenever you're ready. This past year has been difficult for me. He's up for since I since my confirmation. And I apologize for this and assure you that it will not happen again to continue my education there. Whoa. I'm sorry? I'm sorry, did you get the look that he looked at the camera? And that just burned my soul. It's really wait, wait a moment. Can we get a shot of the princess carrying their bags in together with their second cousin? Wonderful. Second cousin. Very close to, I'm guessing that's his brother. And they treat him like a little boy who doesn't know what to do. And he, you can already see he's emerging like he wants to do things for himself. <laughs> that woman has told him to swap places twice. <laughs> You know her? Well, we we went to the same preschool. He got a smile. He literally got him smiling. <laughs> It's kind of funny that his older brother is kind of looking out for him where he wants him to be initiated in a fun way and look out for him and then the second cousin is helping no matter. 
So yeah, he did. Do go. what the first years do and what the third years tell you. You mean what August tells me? He's so annoying. August is family. I can't. You can trust August. He's like a brother. <gasps> I have to go, man. Why? No, don't Aww. leave me alone. Do you really have to go? No, I really have to go. Sorry. Ten minutes ago, I had the opinion of the old brother that I didn't like him, but now I'm like seeing the softer side of him. I'm like, oh, that's, that's cute. Enough. Their relationship is so cute. I've been going here for over a month, for sure. I need your help with something. You must know someone who sells boots. Who can sell us boots? I might just make an extreme exception in the bite. It was very rare for first year to get invited. People like you. They yeah, they must have gone really dirty after five minutes in the writing hall. <laughs> I said no. Ooh, Prince Vigilant. Don't mention it. seems like it would have a do, sir. Have you seen the gift they posted up the fight? No. Let me show you. <laughs> <laughs> Even if he technically is from the same family. Nah, I don't get it. Well, August children won't become princes and princesses. How's your mother, Ryan? She's fine. She said for love. Yeah? I forgot to mm -hmm. find it. <laughs> Stop it, it's disgusting. You hear more about that kind of stuff at Maria Bay than Hilushka. They were more diverse there. What's that have to do with anything? A diverse bunch of losers will never amount to anything. What the hell are you saying? Can you calm down? Okay, he's kind of cute. <laughs> he's adorable. <laughs> Hey, look out for him, hey. Hello. How, uh, how do meals work here? Well, we're waiting for a uh, first master, then a third year gets served, and then second years, and finally us. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know, so are we. You are allowed your own opinions, it's cool. <laughs> Do you want to share something with the rest of the class? It's such a weird question. Why is it called tax evasion or wealth? It's called deduction. Like your dad. How much do you subsidies does he get? What does your dad work with? Mind your language, please. Well, we all know this country's biggest welfare receivers are. Simon! Oh. I didn't know you belonged to Forest Ridge. Well, I don't. But you're eating with us. We know residents have to eat somewhere. Well said. Okay. Why well, didn't you say anything? <clears throat> Not allowed to speak on political issues. Villa, would you? Wow. My sister can come to the party. I'll get you that stuff that you wanted. Really? Okay. It's kind of cute what he's doing it for though. He's doing it for his sister so that his sister can fit in a little bit more. Um. Just fine. How's mom? Sorry? They're good. Can I get you some cookie? How's your back? It's much better, thanks. You know it's kind of funny. I've never seen a show where dealing booze, like booze sounds like, like alcohol seems like it's illegal. Right? Like, it seems like it's not something that you are allowed to do in this show and it's like so strange because normally alcohol is like the easiest thing to do and drugs is the legal thing and I need some for a party was well, trying to impress a girl I'm gay dad oh right oh I'm sorry but you okay two things in one sentence I had a feeling that it was his dad but then he just did this quick like Come out, so we know he's gay. Okay, yeah. I like him. Counting your dad to save the day. Huh? Do you reckon he likes the prince? <laughs> oh, it's like frat boy initiation, not just a party, it's a frat boy. Oh, oh. And welcome to the palace. Sorry if you got a bit rough. Mm. We can murder someone and no way we say words. 
Did he just say that? Keep your friends closer, your enemies closer. Oh, he looks adorable. So, um, so much unspoken connection there. And I have a sense, feeling that them two are going to grow closer and closer, especially their build up, their, their looks and like his comments towards him, as in like putting on some like show of not liking him. It all ties in. Oh! Wait, wait. Oh. That was about to go outside and um, do you want to come with? What you think about about when I sang it? It was nice. Hmm. I heard so many voices, you know, like everyone up there on that stage. There, the, you were like kind of you were singing straight from your heart. Do you like it? Nice reflective question there. Okay, can I just say, like, yes, that was a reasonably kind of slow episode, like, not really much happened, but it was a very cool way to establish the story. I liked the whole scandal part at the beginning, um, and then him having to deal with it, and you could see... We can, we've really seen so far how he handles himself and how he has that royalty stuff to deal with where he puts a lot of his own opinion and things on the back burner. And then seeing him at the school and how other people react to him and those first years going, yeah, yeah, we agree. Oh, we're just joking too. Like... The fact that they thought they couldn't have their own opinion because of the royals, like that's such a interesting concept that I guess is more common in those places where royals are existed or existing more like, not, not like they exist because they exist everywhere kind of thing, but in terms of like where royals are present, like royal blood, like princes are going to your school, that type of thing. Um, but then I guess my favorite part of the episode was the Simon and I guess you could say William, kind of how he would be said in English, I guess. Um, the, their two, their stories are really interesting to me, especially Simon's. Um, and the fact that they're gravitating together and you can kind of tell and that look at the end, the look at the end tells me all I need to know. And yeah, we kind of have this idea or we know Simon is gay, but we don't really know what William's kind of deal is. But you can tell that Simon's going to be the one to like crack open that little shell that he's got. I can just feel it. The looks are telling me all I need to know. But anyway, as a quick review, I really rather enjoyed that episode um if you liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you click subscribe i want to see how you guys react to this reaction before i decide to go to episode two um but I definitely would want to keep watching this show i really enjoyed it and i'm excited to see where they go next there's a lot of um potential in this show i can see whether or not they stay unleash the potential is another story but yeah, I like it. So until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye!